hello guys i will explain mari first uh, and i will explain navigation menus and everything you need to understand before you go to painting process okay so don't worry this software is very 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 easy but you should try and work and you will paint anything you want in this software so i will i do my best to explain everything and hope you learn something here okay so for creating a new project you should go to the file here and just click new or ctrl n to create a new project so here you have a project name and you should must uh, you should change the project name name to um god of war course something like that here you have to choose your file so you should click here this arrow here and just go to your folder and select the file you want to work on here I just you can uh, drag this slider here to change the size and you can see the names here so model for Mari and open okay here you should have always you should have UVs and you can do anything if you don't have UVs so uh, remember that and you just create a new project and just create just click okay so you wait and project will be open okay okay guys here for navigation you should hold alt and with your left click on your mouse you can rotate with alt and middle click of your mouse you can fly and for zoom you just scroll down up to down just can zoom okay so I just zoom in and here if I want to paint anything I just click here this icon left side a basic painting brush and your uh, key for that is P so I, uh, I press P on my keyboard to select painting or click here and for changing my brush size you just hold alt uh, uh, hold R sorry <laughs> just hold R and just drag you can change the size of your brush so just paint so here as you can see I just can't paint here or here so I should go to my setting painting here the right side of software painting and here I just in masking disable masking I just disable this and now as you can see I can paint you can zoom in and zoom out with alt and right click so if you don't want and go with a scroll just alt and right click okay so this is a painting so for our painting with ctrl z you can go back just okay now for our brush we just hold k on on keyboard 
and go to basic brush and here you can uh, select brushes and everything here so if you want a soft brush just click double click here and this will change your brush will change and now it's a, a smoother brush for hard brush you can just click here and select hard brush. so for a uh, go to this uh, menu we just should hold K so with K just can select okay here the hard brush and I just control Z to go back okay if you want to change uh, your painting brush with a ramp or something you should go here in the right uh, right side of your software tool properties and just click here and here you can go to I will explain uh, important setting so here profile you can go and click here and change this so here you can change the ramp and as you can see I just can play with my brush so it's just a very good setting so on the top of your of software here if you select the brush here you have uh, modes you have uh, flow and you have opacity so if I change the opacity here down if I paint now just change the radius you can change here or with R radius and I can't paint anything because my opacity is very low you can change the opacity you can change the flow and that's it okay these two are important and I will explain the important things to you to uh, you don't need to learn everything and if you want just paint a character you don't have to learn everything I just explain the important ones okay uh, here you have you have a lazy mouse like a ZBrush just here on STD a stroke here you can uh, change a mode to a smooth and delay so I if I just paint now I will have delay effect like a ZBrush lazy mouse so as you can see as you can see here I just painted my shape with effect like lazy mouse okay I will explain how to uh, what is these menus and what they do so here you have your channels and you can select a 4k 8k and you can change 1k 2k whatever you want so here uh, just select a 16 for your color and uh, yeah that's it and here you can select the color you can change uh, opacity of that color and here you can change opacity too and you can pick a color with uh, this guy here eyedropper you just select a color
اوکی هیر یو هاف ا ایمیج منیجر اند دیس از ویر امپورتنت اف وی وانت پروجکت اور تکسچر تو اور مدل وی شود گو هیر اند کلیک دیس گای اوپن ایمیج اند هیر یو کان اوپن اینی تکسچر Let me see the name here. A texture like this one. Okay, I just drag this guy here. Just click, select and drag this guy here. Okay. Now for our projection, we have a hotkeys to change uh, size of our image. and other stuff so with ctrl shift we just change the size ctrl shift drag and for rotation i just uh, press ctrl on my keyboard and just rotate the sky okay so if i paint now as you can see i painted this image on this character so you should change something let me see here i think it's a painter paint buffer yeah here on projection we have auto bake and clear So if you, yeah, I think with default setting in in your software, you have a manual. So here, if I paint, and I change a view, I should just press B to bake this on my model, but. and uh, it's not gonna clear and it's uh, you should do this with uh, just be and bake and bake and bake just boring and stuff you should change the manual to auto bake and clear so if you paint now if i paint here it uh, it's just gonna clear and bake everything automatically okay so this is a very easier task for you to do this projection and stuff 